Well, out of the nine goals scored last weekend for the Lake Forest men's hockey team, eight of them came from different goal scorers. And on Friday, Troy Nelson got his first collegiate goal in a 3-1 win over Marion. And then on Saturday, Connor Duncan got the first shorthanded goal of the season as the Foresters would march on to victory 6-1 over Lawrence University. This Saturday, they will head into the heart of the city to take on Aurora University at Johnny's Ice House West, the current practice facility of the Chicago Blackhawks. I'm Cam McGuire, the voice of Lake Forest men's hockey. Coming up next, I'll be joined by head coach Pat Kelleher in this week's edition of Inside Forester Hockey. Hallelujah, trying to shoot that one, but fanned on that one. Kent now turning around. Kent fires there, and it's Troy Nelson who buries that on one here. The court finds Duncan. Duncan! And he gets the top right corner. Welcome back into this week's edition of Inside Forester Hockey. Coach, you guys are 3-1 and one in NCHA play this season. Tied for first in the South Division. Got to be happy with how you guys are competing. Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, this this last weekend especially, anytime you can get two wins over a weekend is, is big, uh, two conference wins. Um, I, I mean, it's early, um, early in the season, so, you know, read what you will from the standings. But uh, for us, it's just, you know, trying to get better each and every day, each and every game. Um, but, I mean, it's exciting, too. Uh, obviously, be 3-1 and one and, you know, in a tie for, for the lead in the NCHA South is, is nice, but uh, it, it's, you know, it's really early for us. So nine goals last weekend combined for you guys, but it wasn't the amount of scoring you had. It was where it was coming from. Eight different goal scorers. Yeah, I mean, I think, uh, you know, it's always good to see. I, I don't know if you would have asked us coaches. I don't know if it's a huge surprise um, in terms of um, getting scoring from s some different guys. Uh, we feel like we have um, some really good depth up front, um, you know, and, and I think that all four lines for us can contribute. So um, for the guys, I think it's exciting to kind of share the wealth a little bit. Um, we're just happy to see that, uh, you know, we have four lines that are able to contribute. We talk about the chemistry of Braun Loisel and Cody Gudorzi connected for that beautiful goal against Marion on Friday, and they seem to finally be clicking. Yeah, I mean, coming into the year, we, we felt like those two guys should have some good chemistry early on. Uh, they spent most of last year um, on the same line together. Um, so for those two guys to, to really kind of start to get going has been, been good for us, and um, obviously we feel like they should be, you know, two of our our top offensive guys, you know, each and every game and, and finding that consistency and, um, you know, then obviously add an Aaron O'Neill to the middle of that line, um, some good speed up the middle, um, which, which is obviously important. And, and Aaron does a good job of creating some battles and, and winning some 50-50 pucks. So, um, you know, it's good for us when that line's playing well. And Lake Forest will head downtown this Saturday to face Aurora at Johnny's Ice House West, the current practice facility of the Chicago Blackhawks. How cool is this event for you guys? Yeah, it's exciting. Um, it's exciting for us. It's something that I've had in mind the last few years of, of trying to host a game um, somewhere downtown. Um, so I was able to work out this year. The, the schedule's lined up, and um, we are able to make it happen with Johnny's. And um, it, it's just exciting, you know, I think, um, to get down there. We have a lot of alumni in the city, obviously. So um, they do a great job of supporting us on campus and to kind of be able to return the favor, play a game downtown, uh, maybe get some, um, you know, new fans to come, come out and check, you know, check out NCAA hockey in the state of Illinois is great. When you look at the city of Chicago and look at Illinois as a whole, only two NCAA programs, Lake Forest College being one of those, and then Aurora, with University of Illinois Chicago, their program D1, but went out in 96. How big is this for the city to have hockey back in downtown for a day? Well, I, I hope it's big. Um, you know, it's... Uh, like you said, to have, you know, only two NCAA programs in the state, we feel like this, um, you know, hopefully would be a showcase for people to come out and check check out Division Three hockey. Um, you know, and just, just hockey in the city, college hockey in the city, I think, um, you know, is, is exciting for us. Um, you know, like I said, try to get some new people to come out to the game, um, but ultimately show people that, you know, Division Three hockey at the NCAA level is um, it's as fast, it's exciting, um, and it's a really competitive game. So fans, come on down to 2550 West Madison Street this Saturday to see Lake Forest take on Aurora at 5 p.m. This has been another edition of Inside Forester Hockey. Thanks for watching.